Well, hey there everyone, Jeff28 here, a different type of video for all of you today. I'm gonna give you my five mistakes, or maybe they're five helpful hints when it comes to collecting Pokemon cards. Now, I got this idea from Twice Big Jake, a really good Poketuber. He was giving you five of his mistakes, or five things he was remorseful about, or a little salty on. It was a really well done video, and I thought to myself, have I made five mistakes? And I'm like, yeah! I have, now I'm very new to when it comes to collecting Pokemon cards and I have focused my collection more now on Full Art Trainer cards. But I have made some mistake collecting those Full Art Trainer cards that I want to share with all of you. Now first up, number five, just be patient, alright? Don't go out, rush out and buy cards right away, especially with new sets. For example, you know that Full Art Tyranitar pass out at the picnic card from Battle Styles? That card was about $300. Well now it's like a hundred, less than a hundred, you know? Cards will drop, don't rush out. I made the same mistake, I went out and bought a full art mustard card. What happened a week later? I pulled it by my own hand. <laughs> hey, it, it turned out good, I gave it away to one of you, one of my subscribers. New contest by the way coming soon, little plug there. <laughs> yeah, but just be patient, all right? You know, cards will drop in price or maybe you'll pull them by your own hand, especially with new stuff, all right? Now number four, I'm gonna contradict myself right here, buy it now. <laughs> no, if a deal is too good to be true, buy it. I saw this Rosa card, which is a card I need. Ooh, it was going in a PSA 9, mind you, but for 120 some dollars, really, you know, some of you might say, ooh, that's a little expensive. Yeah, it is, but a Rosa raw card, which is not great, just a normal Rosa card, <laughs> is going for over $160. So a PSA 9, that is a really good price at $120-some dollars, right? So I told myself, okay, on payday, I'm going to go get that card. You know what happened on payday? I got paid, and the card was gone. <laughs> Someone bought the card. All right, and my buddy Paul always says that. If you see something at Walmart one day, Buy it, don't hesitate. You might go back the next day and it'll be gone, all right? So buy it now, all right? Now next up, we are moving on to number three and that is buyer beware. All right, be careful. I, I, I bought this uh, blue binder I remember off Kijiji, that's our local classifieds here where I live. Yeah, someone was selling a binder for $80. So, you know, and there was a, a couple full art trainers in there. I think Professor Sycamore, Lysandra, full art, beautiful card. So, you know, I went to their neighborhood, very rich neighborhood, very rich house, you know, I had the $80. And they, they flashed me the binder and there, we made the deal. Got home, started looking at the binder closely. Man, those cards were in awful condition. They had creases on the backs. There was whitening. They were in, they were in terrible condition. Yeah, there might have been bullet holes. <laughs> it was awful. I wrote the person back. Hey, this was you were charging me full tilt for this binder. These are awful condition. Never heard back. I was stuck with the cards. So just you know, buyer beware. I don't want you buying rough shaped Pokemon cards or fake Pokemon cards for that matter either. All right. All right, now next up, number two is not buyer beware, it's seller beware. <laughs> Be careful, do you really wanna sell your cards? Sometimes you gotta sell your cards to further your collection, right? I have to do that sometimes. But you don't wanna think five years down the road, it was like, oh my God, I had that card in my collection and I sold it. You don't wanna do that, right? You wanna make sure you really wanna part with it. And this happened to me uh, about a year ago or so, I, I pulled a Lily card. You know Lily from Ultra Prism? They had those Ultra Prism boxes out. I was lucky enough to pull two of them. Yeah, and my buddy, Trainer R, said, hey, I'd like one of those for my girlfriend. So we looked up the price. I'm like, okay, $60. Okay, we did the deal. I sold it to him for $60. You know what that Lily card's worth now? Almost $300. Oh, man. What was I thinking? You know, hindsight is 2020. It's easy to look back on it now and just say, oh, I shouldn't have did that. You know, but be very careful when selling cards. You don't want to have remorse, all right? Uh, not that I do. He's a great guy, trainer R, so. Uh, but hey, maybe I should have held on to that card. All right, number one. Now, collect what you want to collect. That's one thing I love about Pokemon. 
you know, so many different types of collectors out there, but don't limit your collecting. Now, what do I mean by this? There are tons of Charizard collectors out there, for example. They're always saying, hey, any new Charizards? Any new Charizards? Any new Zards? <laughs> that happens all the time with me, you know? And I ask them, hey, what'd you get in Shining Fates? And they're like, oh, nothing, garbage. Because they didn't pull a Charizard, right? So be careful with this. This is starting to happen to me with my full art trainers. Uh, for example, this guy right here, his name is Pokey Taj. Much like me, he loves full art trainer cards. I think he's opening up this Japanese set and I think he wants a full art trainer. Here, take a look. Sableye, another beautiful um, thing. And... <laughs> yeah, look at the disappointment, man. He really wanted a, a full art trainer and he, oh, to be fair to him, he did probably get the worst uh, full art in the set, right? But look at the disappointment and that'll start happening to you if you limit your uh, collecting habits. And that's what's that's going to happen to me. I'm opening up a few packs. Oh, I didn't get a full art trainer card. Meh. You know, so keep it open. If you really want to save your money, go out and buy those cards you want for your collecting. Because if you're trying to pull them by your own hand sometimes, you will get disappointed, all right? Though I hope you enjoyed my little five stories I told to you today. Hopefully they were a little helpful. Uh, hopefully they put a smile on your face. All right, stay safe, everyone. All right, bye. <laughs> Woo! If only I was Jack 28. What a better day it would be. But I'm not Jap 28, so I'm having a very bad day. Scyther. <laughs> <laughs>